Pacific Ocean, geographically divided into three major regions, Melanesia, Micronesia and Polynesia. One plant occupies a central place within the many island cultures of the Pacific. This plant is commonly called the kava. The cultivation, preparation and rituals of kava vary from island to island. But in general, the symbolic role of kava is and always has been the same everywhere. Kava is the link between the Pacific people and their land. Once there was an orphan brother and sister who lived in the northern part of Vanuatu. One night, the brother had to protect his sister from a stranger who wanted to marry her, but she had refused. In the struggle, the frustrated suitor let loose an arrow that struck the girl and killed her. Distraught, the brother brought the body of his sister home dug a grave and buried her. A week passed and a plant had grown in the middle of her grave, which he had never seen before. He decided not to pull it out. A year passed and the brother still returned to his sister's grave to mourn. One day he saw a rat chew at the plant's root and die. His immediate impulse was to end his own life by eating large amounts of the plant's roots. When he tried, instead of dying, he forgot all of his unhappiness. So he often returned to eat from the magic roots and taught its use to others. This is the myth of the kava in Vanuatu. Anthropology and history presents a general consensus view that kava in the Pacific originated in Vanuatu. It was brought to the shores by seafarers, the original settlers of Vanuatu, known as the Lapita people. They domesticated the kava plant for medicinal and cultural purposes. Vanuatu is indeed the ancestral home of Gava. It remains the zone of Gava's greatest genetic, chemical and morphological diversity. More varieties of Gava exist here than anywhere else in the Pacific. Gava. <laughs>《Gawa》is an integral part of Vanuatu's custom rituals. In ancient times, Gawa ceremonies in Vanuatu were surrounded by complicated rituals and restricted to societies where only men could drink Gawa. Traditionally, Gawa ceremonies were only attended by men. The customs chief will call for a meeting with the tribes, villages and other islands. They will discuss matters relating to preparation for war or we'll meet to discuss marriages of the same tribes to one another and Gava will be at the centre of these discussions. Each year in the island of Pentecost, the Gava ceremony was part of the ritual when males aged 13 to 16 were circumcised. Women were never invited to attend the Gava ceremony. Normally, the drinking of the Gava is downed in one hit. On many islands, this is followed by some enthusiastic spitting. The spitting is a kind of symbolic offering to the gods and is accompanied by short prayers or whispered incantations to the ancestors. 
There are several customary techniques on how kava is prepared throughout Vanuatu. Traditionally, it is prepared by either pounding, grinding, grating to chewing to process the fresh or dried kava rootstock. In the Darfur province and southern Vanuatu, it is chewed, spit out and infused mouthfuls of rootstock are used for their elders to drink. In Penana province, grinding is done by hand against a cone-shaped block of dead coral. The hand forms a mortar and the coral a pestle. The ground root or bark is combined with only a little water as the fresh root releases moisture during grinding. Pounding is done on a large stone with a small log. The product is then added to cold water. Chewing produces the strongest effect because it produces the finest particles. Fresh, undried cover produces a stronger beverage than dry cover. The strength also depends on the species and techniques of cultivation. In town, the larger urban nakamals nowadays use hand cranked or electric meat grinders to prepare their rootstock supplies. Today, kava has evolved to become part of everyday society in Vanuatu. It is offered as a welcome drink to visitors, exchanged as a gift at important gatherings like births, marriages, high-ranking chief meetings and deaths. In the urban areas, nakamols are the commonplace where kava is consumed socially, both by men and women. It is the equivalent of an English bar setting where kava is served on site or to, you can get kava to take away home. Kava usage has evolved with time, but the fundamental traditional connection the people of Vanuatu have with kava remains still. Kava is still symbolic of its land, its people, its culture and traditions. It brings the past into the future and binds them together.